The next question um, says to us, Tyrone buys chocolate in bulk to make gift baskets containing different chocolate bars to sell. So he's got this basket that's got a lot of gift um, chocolate in it. So it's got a variety of chocolate. And it says to us, um, in, the, in the boxes, he has peppermint crisp, bar one, Kit Kat and Cadbury. Um, and all of these are 80 gram um, chocolate slabs. So um, we've got 80 gram slabs and they all in nice boxes and he's planning to put these in baskets. And then it says to us, determine the total price of a box with peppermint crisp bars. If there are 40 bars in a box, so it says to us here, if there are 40, 40 bars or 40 slabs um, in a box, and then we are told that the unit price of a bar. So whenever you are told about units, it means times one, guys. It means one. So unit um, price of a bar is eight rand and 70 cents so we want to know um the total so how much is it going to cost for all of these um if one costs eight rand 70 we just say that's going to be our number one 40 of the slabs times eight rand 70 so that's going to tell us how much it's going to cost in total that's a nice and easy one um 40 times eight rand 70. You would expect this one um, in a paper one. It's a nice and easy one. So that's 348 rand. 348 rand. That is two marks. So you'd be running with your two marks. Um, and the next question says to us, explain the term profit. In math literacy, we get this um, where we are asked to explain certain terms. And if I say to you, explain a certain term, you need to use your own words without really trying to be too smart about it. Um, but it's just showing that you understand exactly what is being asked of you. So in this particular case, we're being asked um, to define the term profit. Your neighbor could say something different to yours, but you guys could both get the marks. Okay. So in my own words, I would say that profit... So I would say that profit is the extra money that you make after, I almost said after breaking even, but you can say that. Um, I, I wrote my after wrong there. Let's just fix that. Um, after selling your goods. And I mean, I can already think of all sorts um, of answers that I could be getting from learners. Profit could be, um, like I said, it could be the money that you make when you break even. It could be the money that you make um, after your cost meets um, your, your income. You know, those are the type of questions um, that you, you could be writing over there. So our third question says to us, a box with Kit Kat bars costs 435 rand and four cents. To determine the selling price, Tyrone increases the cost price by 40%. Determine the amount um, that he adds to the cost price. Let's go and calculate that. So we know that it's 400 and 35.4 cents, um, how much it is, but this is how much Tyrone um, is buying it for, okay? That's the cost price, how much he's buying it for. So now we need to determine how much he's going to sell it for. And he's selling it um, by increasing the cost price by 40%. So we wanna know how much it's going to be when he's added all of this. So it's going to be plus, 40% of, you can say of, or you can just multiply, of 
435 and 4. You see? Nice and easy. So, why are we adding that? Because they're telling us he's adding 40% of the cost price. 40% of the cost price equals to 435 and 4 cents plus. So, that is then 435 and 4 cents times, we want the 40%, shift, 40%. Okay, we want that 40% over there. And our 40% is 174. And I'm choosing to add that 016. So 174. 174.16. Point, let's go see what that is again. Zero one six zero one six. I'm choosing to do that because my answer could easily be um, incorrect according to the examiner. Um, if I decide to round off too early, don't round off too early, guys. Um, some of the, the problems is that you guys round off too early. Always round off in your final answer because when you round off too early, um, then you're leaving no room for error so that's 609 rand 609 rand and 056 so 056 and this is now my final answer and this is money so i am allowed to then round it off to two decimal places and you know what i'm going to do it immediately afterwards and the reason why I'm doing it up next to it is to show you that I am rounding off. And that's the rounding off sign. So that would be then 609 um, and 6 cents. I have rounded it off because I looked at that number, which is bigger than 5, and directly affects that number um, over there. So now we know that the cost price um, for these is going to be 40% more, and the 40% more makes it 609 rand and 6 cents. Okay, stunning. So Tyrone makes a gift basket containing the following items. So now he makes the gift basket, and he makes, um, he puts a bar one in, he puts a peppermint crisp, Kit Kat, um, Cadbury, 80 gram chocolate slab, and then the, the empty basket, and then we're given all the, the, the costs on the side there so we are asked to determine the total cost so to make it nice and easy for you i'm going to write down um everything that they've written and then we can do the nice total um at the bottom there so that is our number four let's make that so we know for bar one so i'm just going to say bo it's 10 rand and four cents i'm going to put my unit of measurement there for the peppermint crisp, it's 8 rand and 70 cents. For the kit cat, it's 20 rand and 66 cents. And for the Cadbury, I'm going to make that Cadbury there. Cadbury. So it is what it is. And then we've got our empty basket over there which is 29 rand and 99. So he's basically putting in all of these things here. Okay, let's go and add all of the stuff and see how much it gives us um, as a total. Let's bring our calculator to this side. Um, that's 10 rand and 4 cents plus 8.70 plus 20.66 plus 6 rand and 73 plus 29 rand 99, um, which then gives us 70, oh my goodness, 76 and 12 cents. Got that. 76 rand, 12 cents. That is the total. Um, it's, the, it's the total cost price to make this gift basket, right? Now he has to start selling this gift basket. Let's see what they're saying to us. He sells 230 of these gift baskets and receives a total income of 22,770. Determine the selling price of each basket. Anytime you ask for each or how many or divide, 
I'm just giving you a little tip over there. Um, so what would I do then? I would take this over here. So we are made, we are told that he makes, so he makes, he makes 22,770. Okay. But this is the income. And then we are also, according to our calculations, that's how much he made each basket for. So that's 76 rand. So we take this money. Therefore, 22,770 divided uh, by 76 rand 12 cents. Okay, calculator. This is the reason why it's so important to bring your calculator into the exam, guys. Don't forget that. I preach that all the time. 22,770 divided by 76 rand and 12 cents, which then gives us 299 rand and 13 cents. 299. So he was selling this for 299 rand. I think it's 13 cents. Stunning. And 13 cents. So, Tyrone is clearly um, making a lot of profit from these gift baskets because it's costing him um, it's costing him seventy six rand and twelve cents, but he's making back um, two hundred and ninety nine. And I mean, I haven't obviously subtracted the two to find out what the profit is, but it's more than double. Um, if I think about it, it is way more than um, double. 